Hey, this is Matt once again. Welcome back to another video. There's another paid request this time for Travis. Thank you so much for that. And for those interested in requesting pretty much any type of videos, feel free to send it either directly to my PayPal or join my Patreon. Both links are down below in the info box. And yeah, this Motherly from 2021, which I'd never heard of this film. I just see why, because this film was flat out boring as hell. Boring as shit. Fairly predictable. I think if you've seen enough movies, you don't. Maybe within 10 minutes, 15 minutes, you don't guess what the, the twist is. The setup of the film is you have a mother and daughter. They're in this, some kind of witness protection program. And it's the little girl's birthday. And she's being a snotty. Er, fucking snotty ass brat. I wish we were here. I wish we were home with dad. I wish you know. I don't want this. I don't want the. I don't want your necklace. I want an iPad. Or I want. Oh, I forget what the fuck she said. Just be a snotty little twerp. And you see a little bit by a flashback that in the past. Another family had their daughter over. They were friends. That couple's daughter, 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 went up, and we see with our eyes that she hid in the closet, hide and seek. Someone with hands came up and grabbed her, and then go back to the present time. You see how ain't anxious and anxiety filled the mom is she's always looking at her daughter always wondering where her daughter's at doesn't want her playing hide and seek we don't play that game anymore she is adamant for her daughter to not go to school or at least be around people like it gives all these fucking warning signs I'm sitting there going really movie you can't be more subtle. And then the lady is typing on a computer saying, My husband was a killer. And I'm like, No, he wasn't. I know he wasn't because you're telling me right now he was. So this is one of those movies that wants a twist. So if you're saying he was, I mean, he wasn't, right? <laughs> and then they're from time to time, I say time to time, but this takes place on the same day, this little girl's birthday. This agent, I think his name was Hal, he comes by, She, he mentions that your husband who's in jail for the, the death of this little girl, he ended his life and he left a note. And the note says, now I understand. What did that mean? And he gives a gift to the girl, and the girl gets a doll. And when they leave, she kind of gripes and complains and throws it. And there's even a bit where the mom is yelling at the kid. And the kid, oh, you don't remember. And she goes, you try to get dad in trouble. Well, you don't remember what happened. I remember everything. This is within the first half hour of the movie. Now, spoiler, there's only two things it would be. The mom's the killer, or the little girl's the killer. Now, take the pit, cue the Jeopardy music, who do you think is the killer? Oh, is it the little girl that's complaining and shit? And being a fucking bitch and remembers everything and wants to play hide and seek. And when the flashback of the girl taken, there was someone behind the closet that was the same fucking height as her. To see the arms, I guess technically a tall person would be the arms as well, but. T 
to me it was obvious with all these they did a bad job hiding the twist but like, yeah it is the girl that's why the mom's so anxious that's why the mom doesn't want the daughter to go all here 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 and at times like they try to focus on the mom and her mental state and I'm like okay you you focus so much on her you make me like a red herring to make us think, oh, well, don't think of the daughter, don't think of the daughter. I'm like, no, you're making me think more on her. You're doing the opposite. Maybe I've just seen too many movies, I don't know. And there's even a bit where, again, within 30 minutes, I even marked it, I wrote this down, the 29-minute mark. There's another flashback where the mom comes up, opens the door, and she says, What did you do? Cut to a door open. Someone comes in with a little knife, and you see their legs. Now, funny enough, I misinterpreted it, and I still got it right. <laughs> because I'm like, wow, those are skinny-ass jeans. Okay, that's the girl. She's wearing some little-ass skinny-ass jeans. Well, at the very end, when you found out Lomio is the killer, and we go back to what really happened, she actually comes out in completely different pants. Which is one of those things that is doesn't even make sense, where, if we're watching a flashback, we'd be watching from her point of view. If we're watching from the mom's point of view, why would she flashback and imagine her daughter in different pants? It's like, well, wait a minute, the audience is watching me. I don't want to implicate my daughter to you. So let me imagine that someone coming out in different pants. Like, and if, it, if you're in your mind, are you just going to be like, you know what? I'm going to imagine she's wearing different stuff just for the shit to diddles today. So it's like, well, it's literally there to just lie to the audience. Here's a flash. I'm like, but no, like, why? The mom knows the daughter did. The mom knows what she was wearing. The mom knows all this, so why? And it still didn't work to trip the Austrians. I thought it was the girl just wearing some steeny ass jeans. Because at this point, I'm thinking, hmm. Just, when, this is one of those movies you just, you could tell by the poster. Is so many movies that try to have a twist. And it's gotten so common nowadays that it becomes a fucking detriment because now you're just expecting a twist. In fact, it becomes more shoddy when it's not a twist. The rest of the film, it's a little home invasion. Again, this all takes place in the same day. At night, two people come in, they grab the girl, they grab the mom. The couple is the couple whose daughter died long ago. And they come to the realization that the your husband who was in prison, who died in prison, he didn't really do it. The lady knows it because she was sleeping with our lead character's husband. The lady thinks that the mom, our lead, did it. Which again makes me even know, more know that she didn't do it. Pulls off one of her fingernails. The other guy, the daughter escapes. Lee cared his daughter. The guy's trying to search for her, trying to find her. Then the lady's trying to comfort the daughter. I forget their fucking character's name. I know it's getting confusing because I forgot the character's name because I didn't give a shit. I thought the, the, the lead, the mom, did a fine enough acting job for what was given for the material. I also thought the lady who's the home invader, the the mom of the deceased girl from long ago, her acting wasn't too bad either. The little girl I thought was pretty bad. Maybe because she was run to be just an annoying, whiny... Well, not as much wine, but just 
griping, complaining, bitchy little shit. That even if she wasn't a killer, I wouldn't like her either. So the, I'll say the there's the lady home invader and the guy the husband home invader. The guy talks to the mom and I know you did it. You confess. So the mom confesses and then we see another flashback. But we know it's bullshit because in her flashback, the girl is in hide and seek, and then the mom opens the door with a knife. I'm like, we know that's bullshit because the very first fucking scene. We see hands coming out of the closet and grabbing the girl. So we, if, idea, if nothing else tells you the twist, that right there goes, well, no, that's not it. Because we just, why the fuck did the first scene show the girl hiding and arms come out to grab the girl? So many decisions, I go, they really did a bad job hiding I think they overtold their story at times. Too many flashbacks. I think that really over tried to oversell what they were trying to the showcase. And it hurt them in the long run because it made people easier to, to see the twist coming. And once you know that, there's really not much else going on with the, the movie, with the proceedings. There's not a whole lot. This is not scary. It's not... You know, what else do you got? I don't think it was that tense. I don't think it was that suspenseful. So, long story short... The, uh, the cop gets warned, the agent who was with him with his protection, he comes by, the cop shoots the guy, the cop sees her fake, uh, apology, her fake, uh, why can't I think of the word, oh my god, it's an easy word, why can't I, confession, her fake confession, but he doesn't know it's fake, and we always are not supposed to know it's fake, but I know it's fake. So she shoots the cop, kills him, shoots him in the face. The little girl impales the lady. The lady realizes the girl's the killer, and she's pretty much a little mini female Michael Myers. She's a psychopath, she's a killer. The As the woman's dying, she turns to the mom and goes, You, you put... You picked her above uh, all of us? And the mom goes, one you? So is Bob's mom doing anything she could to protect her child, who's a little psychopath? The mom hugs the daughter. The daughter stabs the mom. Says, that's for dad. The mom dies. Asks, I love you still. Do you love me? The girl doesn't answer because she's a psychopathy little shit. Um, mom's too stupid to... She's so stupid to not realize that she's surprised that she didn't... I mean, she just killed you and murdered you. You're surprised she didn't say it, that she loves you? So, because the mom's an idiot. She's a fucking dumbass. Little girl walks out with a knife down the road. Someone in her car stops her. Are you alright? Oh my god, she got blood all over herself. The movie ends. Motherly. There you go. Like I said, I don't really know what there is to offer with this movie. I mean, it got some good reviews, Rotten Tomatoes. I guess people were unsettled or creeped out. I don't know why. It's just a mom and a daughter. A mom being anxious. Little ants in her pants. A typical little home invasion. There's a little bit of blood. I, I mean, like I said, the twist was predictable within 15 minutes. And 1% confirmed within 30 minutes. 
I'm not the only one. You, I looked at some reviews on Letterboxd, and a lot of people felt the same way on that. It's a website that people can put reviews on. I think this gets like a 5.1 IMDb, so I guess reviewers liked it more than the public. I didn't... It's not... It's not a bad film to look at. Lighting-wise. And cinematography-wise. Which is like something I've said like the past five reviews. Cinematography looks good. Maybe because I've seen a lot of movies where it didn't look good. A lot of you know, really shitty, cheap films that, God, the film doesn't even look good. So maybe that's why I've been on this tra train of, of mind here. Frame of mind. Train of mind, yeah. Train that got derailed from watching shit like this. It, it just came off as rather fucking boring. Really fucking boring. When you know where it's going... And there's not a whole lot happening on screen, just, again, little home invasion, where's the daughter, got the daughter, I will pull your fingernail out, lady. There's not a whole lot to talk about, there's not a whole lot happening on screen. Like I said, the, the, the two women, the lead, the mom, and the... The deceased girl's mom, they were fine. They did not really have any issues with their performances. But that's really all I could say. I just, the girl was an annoying, obnoxious twerp. Like I said, if she wasn't the killer, I still want that tear to be tipped through a field goal while it's on fire. The character, not the actual actress, but the character. Put in the power driver, you know, Stone Cold Stunner. There you go. You tick her. Spear. I don't know why, for some reason, I'm watching this and I keep thinking of Arnold's line in Total Recall considers the divorce. But I wonder like, if Arnold in the 90s was in this and they had the balls and he shot the evil kid. Consider that an abortion. I can't do an Arnold. Like, if someone knew how to do... If I knew how to do an Arnold impression, but consider that an abortion. I know that'd be pretty fucked up, but I would admit if that happened, I would laugh. I mean, it's not even the first movie I've seen where it's about a mom protecting their kid who kills. I mean, the It's Alive remake fucking did that as well. Now, that's more of a poorly made movie compared to this. I would say that's shittier. This is... competently filmed, but again, I think the script just oversold their story of trying to not make you guess, but it did the exact opposite to make you easily guess. Where again, certain things just doesn't make sense. I mean, why would the mom remember things differently just for us, the audience? Um, why would they show a flashback to make us believe she's the killer when it completely defeats what was set up in the very first scene and would make no sense? So now you've done the opposite. It's that make the audience believe, oh, maybe the mom is the killer. Maybe you go, wait a minute, this and this and this doesn't make sense, so I know she's lying. That's what I mean, it's like did stuff, they did the opposite. And I said the little girl's acting I don't think was that impressive. But maybe it's the way the theater was written. Sorry about that. I had to get some stuff done and it was so damn hot out there and sweaty that I had to change a different shirt. I have to clean it up, so where was I at? I think I was finishing the review, but I didn't long story short, motherly twenty twenty one the two ladies, the mom and the deceased little girl's mom, their acting was fine. The guy who played the cop was alright. The guy who played the, the other home invader, the husband to that lady, he was alright. Little girl, maybe she was given poor direction 
or the strip, but she came off as, from the get-go, obnoxious, irritating, unpleasant, griping. The story doesn't really have much going on for it in terms of excitement. I don't think it was that intense or suspenseful or scary. And like I said, the, the twist is fairly predictable within 15 minutes. And it's, like I said, the story, they overdid it where they oversold it. I think that was a big mistake. Too many flashbacks to the same event. Uh, too many clues to make it obvious for the audience. Too many of trying to go so hard in this direction that it goes in the opposite. And I don't know if it's just... I don't know if this director has done anything. Or if this is his first job. Or the writing. What the deal is. But that kind of made it falter. And When I was fairly sure what was going on within that 15 minutes. I'm like... I'm just waiting for the film to catch up. And like I said, there's not really much else going on in terms of action or excitement or thrills. So, with that said, thanks for watching. We'll see you later. Bye-bye.